Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the Rank Cases feature in SPSS. So I have here a fictitious data set that contains four variables. I have three independent variables, duration, emphasis, and gender, and one dependent variable named score. So the independent variables, uh, the duration independent variable has three levels. 6, 12, and 18 week. The emphasis, which would be uh, the emphasis that the counselor would maintain through the counseling sessions, that independent variable has three levels. Depression, trauma, and substance use. And the independent variable gender has two levels, male and female. So if you look over here on the top bar, you see the A1, you can see the numeric values that are tied to the strings. And then we have score, which is a dependent variable, which we'll presume is a general mental health symptom scale, where a lower score represents fewer symptoms. So before I use the rank cases feature, I'm going to sort these cases, and you can find that in data, so sort cases. And I'm going to sort them by score, and I'm going to make that ascending. A note here, you can also save the sort to a different file. And if you select that, you can also create an index. I'm not going to do those two things, but I am going to sort by score. So now you can see that uh, the lowest score is for case 1, and then the highest is in case 90. Now the Rank Cases feature does something different than sorting. You can find it under Transform, Rank Cases. I'm going to reset this. It actually develops a, or creates a new variable with the rank for that case in the cell. So let's just start uh, with score. And there's two options over here. You have the rank types and ties. And then down here you can assign rank 1 to the smallest value or the largest value. So we'll keep rank 1 assigned to the smallest value. Uh, we'll leave the default display summary tables checked off. And let's take a look at rank types. So the first option, and the only one checked off by default, is what's called the rank. It's the simple rank. The new variable it's created will simply equal the rank of that case. So that's very straightforward, and probably what we think of most of the time when we think of rank. The next option, the savage score, creates a new variable containing savage scores based on an exponential function. The next is fractional rank. And with fractional rank, the new variable will equal the rank divided by the sum of the weights of the non-missing cases in the data set. For fractional rank as a percentage, the rank is divided by the number of cases and multiplied by 100. For the sum of case weights, here the new variable is equal to the sum of case weights. So this new variable is constant for every case in the same group. And then we have n tiles. And here the ranks are based on percentile groups. So if you leave it set to the default of 4, you'll have 4 groups, with the cutoffs being the 25th, 50th, and 75th percentile. And down here at the bottom, you can also select proportion estimates and normal scores. Proportion estimates provide an estimate of the cumulative proportion of the distribution that corresponds to a rank. And normal scores return the z-scores corresponding to the estimated cumulative proportion. When you select either proportion estimates or normal scores, either one, it gives you the option of choosing a formula for that estimation. 
So keeping in mind that I've already sorted these cases in ascending order, so going from the lowest score to the highest, I'll click continue here and run this. And you can see it generated a new variable for every uh, box that I checked off. So you have the proportion estimate, you have the normal score, this is a z-score, you have the rank of the score, and you'll notice here that for the first two cases, the rank is the same. So just going back here to rank cases, that's because for ties, the rank assigned to ties equals the mean. You can also pick low, high, and sequential ranks to unique values. Uh, typically, we leave this set at the mean. Then we have the savage score, the percentile group. So you'll notice here that the value of 1 goes all the way down to case 22. And then we have 2, 3, and 4. Then we have the fractional rank and the fractional rank percent, and then the sum of case weight score, which you can see is 90 for every case. It's constant. So you'll notice on the original dialog for rank cases that you can also rank a variable by groups. So I want to show you how to use that feature as well. So I'm going to clear out the values created from the first rank cases. I'm going to leave the score uh, sorted the lowest score to highest score. In the rank cases dialog, you'll notice a feature here where you have the variable that you're going to rank, and then you have another WISP box labeled by. So this allows you to rank a variable by other variables. So ranks are calculated for each combination of the variables that you put in this list box. So I'm going to load all three into the by list box. For rank types, I'm going to uncheck everything except for rank. continue and then I'm going to click OK. It's going to generate one new variable called R score. So you can see now it's still sorted by score. I'm going to now sort by R score which is the rank for score. So I'm going to go to sort cases I'm going to take this over here, the score back to the left, and then rank of score by duration, emphasis, and gender over to the right. And click OK. So now this is ranked by the rank of score by duration, emphasis, and gender. So remember with this feature, it's going to calculate ranks for each combination of independent variables. So we have one independent variable, duration, that has three levels, another emphasis that has three levels, and gender that has two levels. So that's 3 times 3, which is 9, times 2, which is 18. So that's 18 possible combinations. So if you look at the R score, we can move down 18 cases. And you'll notice it's 1 for the first 17, but then for 18 and 19, it's 1 and a half. The reason it did this is because the case 18 and the case 19 are identical. 18-week depression, female to score 40. So it assigned a rank of 1.5 to each of these cases and a rank of 1 to the other cases. So if you look at the first 18, what you'll see is that every combination of duration, 
emphasis and gender is listed. And we have the duplicate here of these two, of 18 and 19. But other than that, these are unique. And it assigned all these different combinations the same rank. And then, of course, taking into account ties, as you see at the end there, it does the same thing with all the other cases. You can see here are the twos, and but there's some two and a halves as well. And then threes. And then fours. There's no four and a halves. And then fives. And you'll notice for the R score of five, again we do have we have eighteen values with that rank. And again, every possible combination of duration, emphasis, and gender is expressed, is found in this rank, in the five rank. I hope you found this video on using the rank cases feature in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.